Hi everyone, I am at the uh, National Small Business Week SBA conference and uh, I actually met Steve Cross. Steve, I'm really excited because I've heard your name so much. Uh, I've heard a couple of podcasts and radio shows that you've done. Right. Uh, especially for, uh, I think, uh, Network right. Solutions also. Network Solutions last summer. Yes, uh, last summer. That's great. And uh, I'm almost a fan of, uh, not almost, I am a fan of yours. Well, thank you. So, uh, I'm very curious about the Small Business Bible. Who should be buying this book? Well, sure. So, this is my book, the uh, Small Business Bible, the second edition. Mm -hmm. Greatly ex expanded and updated. And, you know, this for anyone who's in business, whether you want to start a business or you have a business. Uh, it's divided into three sections, starting, running, and growing your business. So the whole idea is, you know, what it takes to succeed, especially today. Uh, I write about that in my USA Today column. I write about it, of course, in the book. And I speak uh, all over the world about small business success and, and uh, how to do it. And, uh, I mean, I could call you a blogger, a podcaster, a reporter, an author. You have so many different views. But uh, Wait, one don't, thing... Don't we all these days? Yes. You know? uh, but one thing definitely is that you're a small business expert. Yeah. So, so I grew up in a small business household. Uh, my dad owned a chain of carpet stores. And we grew up talking about business around the, the dinner table. And something that always interested me. So even when I went off to law school, I always thought, well, what I really want to do is start my own law practice, which is uh, what I did. And then I... Gone on to write for USA Today and write books. And I'm a recovering lawyer now. I don't practice law anymore. I get to do more fun stuff like be at SBA Week with you and all these other great people. That's true. So, how do you like the conference so far? Are you speaking here or? I'm not. I'm speaking tomorrow at a at a private, you know, private panel discussion. Um, and today, I'm just a part, just, just you know, just watching and enjoying it like everybody else. It's always interesting. You always learn something new. Meet somebody new. That's what I like about it. Uh, and Steve, our audience is also small business, and we're going to put this on our blog. So, uh, since I caught you here and I have a couple of minutes with you, yes. can you give some advice to our readers, especially small businesses, on three things that they should be doing uh, as part of the checklist? Or well, sure. You know, I think uh, being counterintuitive right now is not not the worst idea. Sure, you got to be conservative and smart, and you know, watch watch the budget. That's intuitive. And that makes sense, but. I think also spending extra money on marketing and advertising right now makes a lot of sense. Doing new marketing and advertising, maybe Twitter, as you mentioned, or uh, not my favorite of all social media platforms, but it's a good one. Uh, you know, getting out there, getting online, finding some new profit centers, and being innovative so that when things do turn around, you know, maybe later this year, next year, you have some new ideas ready to come out of the, uh, out of the box. Excellent, Steve. Thank you very much for your time, and we'll look forward to connecting with you more. Thank you so much. Thanks.